Logic zero, example 27.2, proving the rule of equivalence valid. Here, not the rules, plural of equivalence, but the single rule that is named equivalence. All right, so this word equivalence is getting reused in multiple for multiple meanings uh, in this section of the course. That is just conventional, that's traditional. Um, you know, there's not really anything we can do about that. That's just the way the terminology evolved. Uh, here we have a, a an interesting truth table because there there's two instances of logical equivalence. So we need to sort of think about uh, these statements being logically equivalent and going bi-directionally. And if we look within the truth table, it all checks out. So th that's valid bi-directionally between those two. And we can look at the second set of P if and only if Q, P and Q, or not P and not Q. Uh, those also, the, the inference of logical equivalence is valid going in both directions as we look through the table, just looking at these columns down here. And, uh, you know, so there we have not just bi-directional, but we have like quad directionality. Uh, but then there's also another pair that we need to check out. And that's the first statement, P only of Q and Q only of P is logically equivalent to this third statement, both P and Q, or both not P and not Q. And if you look at these columns uh, running down here, right, right here, look, look at those column and that column, uh, and check out the bi-directional validity, it all checks out. Okay, so this is uh, hexadirectional, six ways that, that we really need to uh, investigate this, but we can, we can fit this all into one table and, um, you know, it's pretty elegant. Uh, you maybe have to think about it a little bit, but uh, it works pretty nicely.